Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Hashtag Analytics. I'm here right now at Senti Tech Lab here in Makati. Actually, this company develops AI products from idea to market by applying design thinking and lean startup strategies. And you know, I am very happy, excited, and fulfilled that finally my request has been granted to have a Q&A with us. CEO of Senti AI and Google Expert Developer for Machine Learning. And that's no other than Mr. Ralph Frigarado. Hi guys, hello, hello. Thank you, sir, for accommodating this request. Thank you, David. But before we start, uh, can you please uh, share to us sir, the background of this Senti AI? Okay, yeah, yeah. So just a quick um, introduction about the company. So we're the pioneering artificial intelligence company here in the Philippines. Um, it started as a research of mine um, back in um, DLSU, so I've been doing a lot of research in NLP, mm -hmm. um, in sentiment analysis, and then I had an opportunity to join Startup Weekend Manila, so it's a three-day startup event. Yes, so, and you currently won. Yeah, we won a <laughs> and then that's, a, that's where the journey started, um, mm -hmm. to figure out how do I commercialize something that is research. Because we you know it's kind of challenging to do it in uh, way to research, but we want to put it into a context of applied Yes, commercialization. But you know, in the academy, we just create, yeah. collaborate, yeah. but in terms of commercialization, we're lacking into that part yeah. because we have a hard time to, you know, uh, to present uh, our ideas and we don't know who to partner with. Yeah, I think so the, the USD and the ICT has, has mm -hmm. a sort of innovation app. That mm -hmm. which is a lot, there's a lot of TBIs already mm -hmm. that handles innovation. But during the time when we first started, there's no such thing. Which is oh. like it's a good time yes. that, um, that those opportunities are now open so that educators or students mm -hmm. can actually like leverage the opportunity to do whatever research they get, they're done in, in the university and then mm -hmm. have it commercialized. Okay, now it's time for, uh, to answer these questions coming from our educators of various universities and colleges from Los Juan, the Science, and Mindanao, sir. Yeah. Sir, at the time, sir. Okay, thank you so much, sir. So uh, this is my, you know, biggest accomplishment with Mr. Ralph Rigalato. Okay, so this question is coming from Dr. Vladimir Mariano. Actually, he is in UP before. I don't know if he's in UP, but uh, he is the guy behind the up up to total rewards and engagement. Okay, so uh, the first question is, how are you going to prepare a nine-year-old kid for a future world where every device is running on algorithms and AI? Um, I think pinaka important is your um, in digital footprint be able to handle that because you know each of our movements are being tracked. But each of our like um, digital footprints in Facebook and social media, we generate a lot of data. But for a kid, usually they push content a lot that they feel you know, there's no impact of that. Yes. Um, but since we're on a on a on a stage now, data everything is driven by data. But we need to, we need to be wary enough. We need to also educate um, educate kids, uh, the you know, kids. Uh, ano ba yung pwede ko share? Ano ba yung mm. digital footprint ko? Because sometimes a lot of tech like, organizations are utilizing this data to keep track. For example, okay, for particular, particular uh, individuals. Yeah, okay. So, but I think it's a it's a matter of like being uh, obs observable in the sense na dating dating asin ng time ng time pa ko la lang yes. ng pa just play but, around. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, and aside from that, um, be open na tech no technology talaga yung mga drive ng 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 um ng mundo ngayon. As we know, a lot of um new startups are driven by mm -hmm. tech. We have Google, we have Facebook. And I think in the context of the Philippines, it's very important that the markets aware that it's a mga ganong opportunities. Mm. Um, because I think they did mga drive as a nation na innovation within, yes. within our ano But they have to expose this technology. But there's a uh, discipline. There's just yeah, there's discipline. a discipline. And then um, I think pina parang it's still a tabu ngayon na pagpagusapan yung mga mm. ethics revolving mm. around digital. But we need to always put that into discussion. Mm. Kasi may mga, may consent pros talaga mm. yung technology. Yes. Uh, parang, if you're interacting with social, hindi mo alam baka may, uh, may child prostitution na yes. yes. hours. Yes. So we need to be open with that type of new um, mm. new thinking about 
involving ourselves in that. Involving we cannot ourselves avoid that. We cannot avoid that, mm -hmm. but we can prevent it from happening. If kids are always aware about what's, what what are the consequences of this. But YouTube now is incorporating this. Uh, you know, when you upload a video. So there's a question there, is this for kids or not for kids? Yeah. So I think that's, that's their that's, control. That's control, yeah. Oh, that's the control. I think Netflix also has their own okay. kids na set But up. not totally, yeah. 100% of yeah. course. So but again, like, it would always go back to the innovators na yes. they need to also consider kids who would be using mm -hmm. technology. Hindi lang siya outright na, okay, ano ba yung impact ito to my mm -hmm. users? But to my kids na involved, how will it will affect? Like, sometimes it's a psychological impact. Psychological right? impact. So you need to like, um, you get, parang when you do innovation, you need to consider um, the environment where it will be deployed. Parang mm -hmm. ano ba yung impact niya? Kasi ngayon, lahat kasi, lahat tayo, marami tayo um, data na. Yes, Bakit, big data, big data. I can just search my name online and then bakit ay mga pictures ko na old, diba? Yes, Dila yes. Matanggal. Without any information. Without any information. Diba? Diba? So, diba na matanggal. So, parang at least meron ang knowledge yung mga mm -hmm. kids na they need to be worried when they interact with them. Okay, the next question, sir, is how should we change higher education for the future of work? Okay, I think this is me um, based on my observation. Siyempre, I got it myself involved in the academy and then yes. um, try to inject myself in the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of movements, but as you know, sir, it's so much more technology. Mm -hmm. yes. Thus, our attitude towards how we learn how we should adapt change. To, uh, Kasi parang minsan, na nagyalag behind um, mm. tayo na sobrang it's overwhelming kasi parang yes. sobrang daming information yes, <laughs> sobrang daming information uh -huh. but it's a matter of how do we now leverage those information at hand to ayun nga parang ngayon kasi hindi na tayo sa learning na ibibigay mo kasi yes. marami na ngayon yes. you have to content. utilize, to utilize okay. all of the content. maximize all the content yeah. as much as possible yeah. as much in a good way yeah. But learning our future uh, workers. Like a change that is a change. Um, especially the building transition to um uh, industrial revolution, mm -hmm. maybe for industrial revolution. Yes. There's a there's always a change of like work. So I, I read a book na um in the in the next future may mga uh, may mga work na, na naka focus on checking ethics ng machine learning model. Kasi parang chine check na kung yung decision making ba nun is okay or not. So parang yung mga gano'ng type of work na, yung iba mag-manage na lang sila ng mga nag na robots. So yung mga gano'ng type of work. That it needs a different type of steel. Na parang kung blue collar worker ka and you don't know how to handle technology, it would be a, it would be a challenge for you. But I think in terms of like Philippines and how we progress as a nation, we need always to be constantly na kahit anong background mo, if you're a nurse or if you are a psychology graduate, dapat may tech knowledge ka na talaga. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a must ngayon. Yes. Na, kasi, ano na eh, parang mabilis yung movement and then maglalag mag 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 behind tayo if we don't catch up with that. Actually, right now, because the BA integrate this business analytics, their curriculum, they have this artificial intelligence, machine learning, but their problem is, how are they going to uh, teach this particular uh, course. So I think this is the problem. The interdisciplinary would play a huge role because in the context of machine learning, we still need to have experts who know the task. For example, in the agriculture space, um, may some project that they actually say, para segregate to set up the rules of or in there. But who knows it better? It's the farmers, mm -hmm. right? So para it, it's the farmers who has a better knowledge of so, how to segregate mm -hmm. things. But to um, to automate those processes, you need to someone who has maybe background that is a technology. So okay. We enable the technology, but in terms of like um, any para tuning it or fine tuning it to do the work itself, you need to yes. still have experience. Yes, yes. Collaboration is the key. Okay, so for our next question, this is coming from uh, Dean Rothley Altai of Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas. So her question, sir, is that for a faculty member uh, teaching CS or IT with no solid background on machine learning, especially the older ones, okay. <laughs> what should be the first basic topic that they should start with? I think you know, let's start the whole machine learning. I just started it with the uh, research because that's where a good entry point for me to learn and observe what are the new innovations in mm -hmm. terms of like, in our case, doing it. 
So during yung, yung nag start ako ay NLP, rule based lang talaga. Yung okay, rule based. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, parang may rules ka lang. Mm-hmm. But since the gable kasi yung field itself, yes. you need to like sabayan, sasabayan mo talaga. Sa so, kung hindi mo sasabayan, may hinapan ka rin na mag-innovate. So, you need to be on trend. You need to be on trend. So, you know, the way that I attack it on my end was, yun nga, parang inaral ko yung algorithms by myself. And then, um, nung nag-decision ako teaching, visiting different different okay. cities, different um different or um different communities. Iba din yung entry point na lang. Iba din start sila sa easy to digest na yes. content. And then slowly they go down deeper. So for example, mm-hmm. nag-start lang sila na, okay, take it kaya linear regression model or build classification model. And then I slowly like immerse myself with a much more deeper advanced, advanced uh, algorithm. So that's yung naging exact mm-hmm. But on the context of um, teaching, it will be completely different. So parang you still need to have your um, mathematical and statistical foundation. Is it a square yes. majority? Yes. Of, Wrong, yeah, so, which is for me, um, like, 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 statistics. You have the basic foundation of statistics so that you know what this machine learning because the statistics uh, is applied in machine learning. Yeah. And in your uh, regression. So there's a lot of uh, probabilities. Probabilities. So there are many 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 so parang yun yah parang slowly ko siya slowly siya iniingest so hindi talaga siya yung isang bulto at na you learn yes. and what works um for me was yun yah to have a study group na parang okay. sige magbit kayo what from what type asayin tayo na 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 asayin tayo 